well after independence in 1985 when I got a, a, a British fellowship to go and study more about bronze casting in England. I was fully sponsored by the British Council and I was staying in Cardiff in, in Wales. And when we were there, that is when I started getting recognition from um, some institutions, you know. After I, I held an exhibition of my works at uh, uh, St. David's War in Cardiff, my first exhibition there opened the gates for me, you know, really floodgates for me. And uh, that's when I started getting commissioned work of my, my first commissioned work came after the friends of Alfred Fagon asked me to do the bust of Alfred Fagon. And he was a playwright and actor who died mysteriously. Uh, in Bristol. The friends of Alfred Fagon um, got together and they were saying that we want to commission an artist to do another artist. But an artist preferable not from England, but from Africa. And, and then, yeah, I got that commission uh, work for, uh, to do Alfred Fagon. And as we speak, it's actually outside at a, a park called Morgan Park in Bristol. And then thereafter, you know, I got another commission to do a statue of the first child who was killed in Soweto uprising, Hector Peterson. I mean, now again from the anti-apartheid movement uh, based in England and the 198 gallery which um, was promoting African art in, in Britain. So I did that and then from there, there comes the Marcos Garvey for the Grange Museum in Newsden. And uh, as we speak, you know, I mean, the, the work that I did is actually displayed at uh, the Grange Museum in, in Newsden. And um, there was a birth again of a yet another commissioned work when the, the Barrow of Tottenham decided to build a library called Marcos Garvey Library. And then they said, no, we know of Mutasa who has actually done Marcos Garvey, so we want to commission him to do Marcos Garvey for the Marcos Garvey Library. So I got that commission again. You know, when you, you set your mind to work on something, you just need to be settled. To me, you are actually inspired by, by just saying to yourself, it's an honor amongst all these artists who have lived uh, in Britain and some of them, they're even more famous than me. So it's an honor. And so that's, uh, you know, only that, you know, drives you to, to, to become and actually say, look, I'm just going to be professional and um, execute my, my work as I, you know, I mean, confronted.